All right, I'm here with Josh McGinty at the uh, Omni Hotel in Austin. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. I'm, I'm caffeinated. Oh, good, good. So now you are the chief architect of Nebula mm -hmm. at NASA. Can you tell me what, what the heck is Nebula? Nebula is NASA's cloud computing platform. And at this point, it's possibly, you know, one of, one of a couple of federal government cloud initiatives. It, uh, it's infrastructure as a service primarily, although we have a prototype of platform as a service, and we have aspirations to offer various software as a service at some infinitely far point in the future. And how long has Nebula been around? Uh, the project started out called NASA.net about two years ago. It was originally uh, an effort to build a web application framework that NASA programs and projects could build on top of. And uh, as it progressed, it sort of morphed into, into a cloud project, into an infrastructure as a service effort, particularly. Uh, I'd say it's been called Nebula and been mostly about infrastructure as a service since last summer. And so why a cloud? Why does NASA want a cloud? NASA has a very classic cloud-like uh, cloud requirement in all of their IT projects in the sense that we build missions. We take five years building and designing a mission and the mission maybe flies for six to 12 months, collects a ton of data, has a very short period of very intense public interest. We share that data with other researchers and then it dies and goes away. Um, and what's very hard to do in government is to reuse and, and reprovision hardware. So when we have a mission that maybe doesn't make orbit, so we had uh, OCO, the Orbiting Climate Observatory, the first one failed to make orbit, sank into the ocean, but all of the hardware that had been purchased to gather the data from that mission was a sunk cost. Um, we're also out of data centers. Uh, we have a lot of enterprise systems that run very low efficiency. We have a virtualization initiative that's separate, but uh, we have right now small clusters and larger supercomputers scattered all over the agency. So getting to a model where we share a pool of elastic resources is going to save a ton of money. And by a ton of money, I mean NASA spends $2 billion a year on IT. That's not chump change. No, and the federal government as a whole spends $85 billion. Aside from, from Nebula, where we've been going since, you know, as I mentioned last summer, um, the, the Obama administration has a very strong cloud agenda as well. Vivek Kundra was, was brought on as a CIO of America, and it's one of his sort of flagship efforts. So we're actually hosting some White House websites on Nebula as well. And, and now you're going down the open source path with this. Can you talk about that? Yes. Um, that's been a goal of the project since the first days, both to build using open source and to build as open source. Uh, there are some other very successful open source projects inside NASA, but not a tremendous number of them compared to how much IT development we do. Uh, and it's mostly because it's historically been very hard to do open source release even, let alone a real open development process inside a government agency. And so a lot of what the Nebula project is focused on is fighting those battles internally, getting legal review, getting approval to use, say, the Apache 2 license, which we only got approved a couple of weeks ago. Before that, folks had to use the NASA open source agreement, uh, which meant it was harder to get external collaborators involved. We also couldn't do continuous release. We had to just wait six to 12 months and throw a taller tarball over the wall. And so now you're here at the uh, OpenStack Design Summit. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing with OpenStack? Yeah, well, it turns out there are a, a couple of major players working on open source cloud computing platforms at the same time, and, uh, and we're sort of pooling efforts, which is really exciting. Uh, we have spent a lot of time putting together a pretty comprehensive uh, compute platform dealing with virtual machines and, uh, and attached block devices, and on our roadmap was to build out a real object store. But we hadn't finished one yet. We were just, in fact, getting started on it. And, uh, and there's another big player in the space, Rackspace, who had just finished a really comprehensive object store that they were open source releasing, and they hadn't quite gotten started on the compute side. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to, to use their cloud file solution for them to jump on board the, the Nebula code base, which has recently become accessible to them. Uh, it's as, as Vish joked last night at dinner, I don't know if you made it there, people were comparing it to a wedding or a marriage and he said you know think of it this way you're not you're not losing a code base you're gaining developers I like it I like it and with that Josh McGinty thank you so much my pleasure <laughs>